now we will see what is average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration okay so average acceleration is again a vector quantity so average acceleration is nothing but change in velocity divided by time interval that is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time interval average acceleration is similar to average velocity average velocity was change in displacement divided by time so average acceleration is change in velocity divided by time correct so it is a vector quantity and direction is same as that of change in velocity okay so v2 minus v1 whatever direction it is that will be direction of average acceleration okay and average acceleration is defined in a certain time interval now we will see what is average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration so average acceleration is defined in a certain time interval like average velocity was change in displacement by time similarly average acceleration is change in velocity divided by time these are vector quantities so use proper sign while substituting the values so it is change in velocity upon time interval that is v2 bar minus v1 bar divided by time interval and direction of average acceleration is same as that of change in velocity so we will find what is direction of change in velocity that is delta v bar that will be the direction of average acceleration am i correct okay move on to instantaneous acceleration so instantaneous means at that instant at that instant so at that particular instant what will be value of that acceleration similarly we can write like average uh, instantaneous velocity we have written average instantaneous acceleration is nothing but average acceleration where this time interval is very small tends to zero that means time interval is very small if this time interval is small average value will become instantaneous value okay so instantaneous acceleration is limit delta t tends to zero delta v bar upon delta t change in velocity upon time and this is nothing but derivative of velocity with respect to time so instantaneous acceleration is derivative of velocity with respect to time that is rate of change of velocity correct okay so again i write this is instantaneous velocity instant acceleration instantaneous velocity okay very good